Yeah, morning. Uh, you all see my video ID yesterday, and uh, I think a lot of people don't really understand lah. So I have to explain it um, in a more easier manner to understand. Okay. So what are the events that's happening? Okay. So earnings come out. It's not bad lah. Honestly, you all look at it. Everybody was saying recession, recession, recession. I don't really see it lah. Honestly speaking, people just buying less iPhone is not really recession lah. A little bit less iPhone not really recession. Okay. Uh, ADP uh, last month three hundred thousand July right. Then June five hundred thousand. Economy is doing uh, amazingly well. ADP job numbers ah, uh, job creation numbers. Uh, then the Fitch downgrade the US uh, that one. Now uh, the Fitch downgrade uh, US uh, debt rating to AA lah. Still, I actually doesn't make sense uh, because the US will 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 always pay the debt because you borrow in your US dollars ma, right? You, you always pay the debt ma because you can print it ma. Stupid lah actually, right? You all think so, ah? Uh. But then later, Ackman got news that she's shorting thirty-year treasuries or TLT, lah, roughly. He thinks that it's overpriced, and the yield have to go up to five and a half percent, ah, for it to make sense, ah. Uh. Okay. Now, then after the thing, yeah, that means, uh, 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 the the thirty-year treasuries are overpriced, ah, uh, now, okay. That's probably why the Fitch downgrade the 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 the, the rating, but you cannot say specifically that oh it's a thirty year that is overpriced, huh? You know what I mean or not? Okay. Uh, but the reason they give was a bit weird, lah. They say the 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 debt to GDP was a uh, hundred thirty and all that, blah 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 blah. Well, honestly, I guess people expected the. I think it's a bit too high, lah. But uh, okay, lah. I mean, Japan is two hundred. Okay, Singapore is one hundred plus. Okay, Singapore got a lot of assets though, huh, to cover up that debt. Okay, now uh, next ah, uh, we after these ah, uh, all these three is connected uh, Remember that, okay. So you all remember last time everybody say, oh shit, uh, the economy is uh, 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 going to to recession uh. we are going to to die. Uh, the doomsday scenario is going to happen. Okay. And apparently, we all look at the numbers, and everybody say, "Yeah, we think the recession, uh, no recession anymore, lah." Everybody say now no recession. Ta -ta 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 -ta. So everybody actually unwind uh, the bets, uh. So those people who was buying insurance, they unwinded the insurance. Those people who uh, short the market, they unwinded the bets. Okay. So what happened? Uh, it was a short squeeze. Uh. Okay. It was a short squeeze. And uh, we are feeling the brunt of it, lah. Basically, so if we look at the S and P, huh, it has been in a downward spiral for the past few days. Okay, uh, yeah, past few days, lah. But then uh, it's actually coming up from a top lah. That's why I think. Okay. Now uh, this thing go up. Ta 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 ta. Overextend uh, the the channel ho, the top band of the channel, and then it comes down. Ta 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 ta. -da. Okay. Now usually when you overextend, it will come down a, a little bit more uh, erratic lah. Okay. And by the way, if this keeps uh, going down, uh, because I buy insurance already, I'm gonna earn some money lah. Actually, not earn money lah. Actually, I am securing my gains lah. Right? It's quite dumb lah. The whole idea of securing gains is dumb lah. But yeah, we securing our gains, and uh, we think that it's gonna keep going down lah. Okay, until it reaches this uh, 50 MA. So. I believe that it's going to go to 4,000 for the S&P 500. Okay, this is normal. This is healthy. Uh, this was overbought. This is what an overbought market looks like. It's going to come down. Okay, 
uh, and usually when it's overboard, the way it comes down is a little bit more powerful. So maybe maybe somewhere here lah, I would say, either here or here. Okay, it's possible here also, right? Four thousand two before it starts going back up again. Okay, this is technical lah, nothing to do with uh, fundamental. Okay, but technical they gonna use fundamental reason to 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 do the technical. Okay, in fact, I believe the technical more lah. Right, this is oversold lah. I mean overbought. Then it's gonna come down. Then later oversold, then people buy them. Okay, uh, I I think it's gonna keep coming down lah. That's my take. So now how? Well, even at four thousand four hundred seventy eight, S and P five hundred is quite high, dear. Why not buy some insurance that is going to drop from here, maybe another ten points or twenty points, right? I don't see why not, lah. Okay, you can buy insurance that is going to touch here and here, right? If bad things do happen, lah, right? Or you can buy insurance somewhere here. This is going to drop here. Okay, I really earn my money, lah, because last time everything go up, go up, go up, go up. The put option was so cheap, lah. Now I come back and see, ah, wow, lah, the put is so so expensive, really. I don't want to buy it. I should have bought more, but then yeah, okay. And yeah, sometimes buying uh insurance is the right way to go lah. Uh, put option spread. Okay, you buy put option maybe somewhere higher like that. Then you buy sell put option somewhere lower. Oh, then you, from there you earn lor. Right. Uh, usually you go for two months, three months, four months, five months. If you want longer, you go one year lah. Okay. But this is short term only lah. I think in the long term, it will still keep following this thing go up like that. This is just my take, ho. This is not financial advice. Okay. Now there is this line that uh we all should always draw lah. Okay. And this is I think the. I call it the red the red line lah. This is the line ho from last time. This is the trend line from last time until uh. From 2008 until like that, uh, it shows you this red line shows you uh, that uh, we are actually above this uh, past uh, 2008 until now the 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 line. So we are actually quite expensive, lah. Okay, we are actually quite expensive. Okay, so if you want somewhere to buy somewhere cheap and reasonable, you definitely want to buy somewhere below the red line. Okay. So I mean, uh, that means four thousand one buying below four thousand one is a good idea. Okay, so this red line, okay, is a trend line lah, uh, that has been there since two thousand eight, two thousand nine lah, I guess, right until now. Okay, you have seen that uh, the S and P five hundred more or less has followed this, uh, uh, this. Ada apa sih, man? Okay, so yeah, I guess that's all lah. Okay, so the past since two thousand nine until now, the S and P five hundred has been playing around here. Ta 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 ta. So if you buy now ah, you are diverging away from that trend two thousand eight lah. Okay, but you must also understand, right? Last time and now, oh, the money supply is so different, man. Look at that. Okay. The money supply now is almost ten times it was a uh, five years ago or even ten years ago. It's just so crazy that I I even cannot begin to imagine it, lah. Right. So the Fed lah really got to do something lah to to fix this. Okay. Mm, otherwise, the US dollar is going to continue uh, to devalue. Okay, so I think now uh, is more to a little bit on the macro side lah, the the problems uh, that's happening. Okay, so we talk about the first scenario. China relationship is not very good with US. Yellen come go there, went to ask for China to buy the long term uh, treasury. 
US Treasury. Uh, I a lot of people, this is what Kramer said lah. Oh, I'm I'm paraphrasing what uh, uh, Kramer said lah. She didn't they didn't get the loan lah. Uh, so uh, the the fish downgrade. Well, I don't know about that lah. But uh, if I was if I were China, of course I won't buy uh, US loans lah because my relationship is not that good, right? And uh, there are talks about the def selectively defaulting only on China, you know, by the Congress. That was the stupidest thing, lah. Basically, you don't want to honor your debt to a specific nation, okay? So you gonna say, oh yeah, we have bad relationship with the nation, lah. We don't want to pay debt, ma. We don't pay our debt at all, lah, to the nation, lah, at all, lah. Okay? Then other who is who is going to lend you money, huh? Because you can just don't pay your debt just by just saying that oh I'm I'm hostile with you uh, I don't want to pay debt uh, just to you uh. okay okay the next day uh, Canada oh oh I'm hostile with Canada uh. Canada you better listen to me uh, otherwise I don't pay your debt at all uh. Uh, I don't want to pay the debt at all you know you don't don't play play uh, Canada uh. then Japan ah uh, why well, you hold a lot of my debt uh. you I owe you a lot of money uh, I know uh. you better listen to me you know bloody hell oh uh. You better listen to me, follow my policies. Uh. Otherwise, I'm not going to pay my debt at all, you know, to you. Ah. So what do you think happened? Okay. Everybody got scared of holding the US dollars. Okay. Not only China, even Singapore also reduced the US dollars. They got scared, right? Because the US has gone to this warlike and gangster-like uh environment okay in other words they are very hostile they are very willing to go to war they are not willing to pay their debt to any to the nations that they deem is they don't want to pay lah. right so do you think uh the nations are going to buy the duration or are they going to buy maybe uh, buy a bit but you know just show face uh, but don't want to buy so much uh. Okay, which is more likely? Of course, just buy a bit. Don't 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 buy so much, yeah. right? Okay, later you you bully me. You say, oh, I don't want to pay you. Huh? you better listen to me. I don't I don't pay you. Uh. I selectively default on you. How huh? you die, man? Okay. And I think that question was asked to Janet Yellen during Congress meeting, and Yellen said, "Well, selectively defaulting on China is a default event." It's still a default event. What's gonna happen? You wanna see the stock market crashing and all that? Pop, 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 pop. I tell you all first, huh? Now, ah, uh, you all buy stuff, ah, uh, got risk, ah. Uh. You are better be careful, lah. Uh. I tell you, I am not bluffing you all, lah. Uh. Okay, the risk is higher than ever. Okay. It's like that what you say, ah, I'm hostile with you, I don't want to pay you. Oh. Then I don't lend you money, no, in the first place. I don't lend you money, I okay, Dima. Right. Now, uh, the Russia one, I think they take away the Forex, I think not really <laughs> okay also, la, because you use the thing as a weapon also, yeah, I don't know, la, but yeah. I think eventually the reserve currency, there's going to be a new reserve currency. And the new the reserve currency has to be a neutral country. La. Oh. I don't know which one is going to be the reserve currency. La. Maybe Singapore, I don't know. Maybe Singapore, possible. Right. Singapore, Swiss, okay. Uh, Treasury is issuing two, two, two trillion. La. They need some money, la. okay. Uh, we don't know lah. So what's gonna happen uh, when all these nations don't buy? Well, if they auction the time and the less demand, you know what happened? Uh, the price of the thirty-year the treasuries. They're going to come down and the yield will go up. Lah. When the price comes down, the yield go up. It's an inverse relationship. Okay. Now it's already about 4.2, 4.3. 
not impossible lah for it to go to six and a half percent lah. I think ah, this is my take. Okay. And I think Ackman made the bet. He said, hey, it doesn't make sense that the thirty-year Treasuries are going so low yield." He said because he's just saying that doesn't make sense. Eh? Why would I want to buy ah the thirty-year Treasuries ah for so low yield? Ah? I, I even me, I don't dare. He said that, right? Then he he explained ah. Then he explained. Uh, is you know why? He he explained that. Because there's a substitute. The substitute is the one year treasury, ma. The one year treasury is five five percent. That one is only what. Last time only three percent. Doesn't make sense. What happened? People divert their money from the five year to 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 year. Oh, I mean from the thirty year to to one year or two year and five year. Okay. So what happened? Slowly the the yield go up from the thirty year treasury. Okay. Uh, you can see the 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 thing here. The Yahoo is very uh powerful. Uh, T N. Uh, this is thirty year. You see, it's actually slowly, huh? Oh, the the yield is actually slowly going up. Slowly but surely, it's going up from three point five go up, 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 go up. Okay, this is last year, lah. Then it went up a bit, then came down. Then went up a bit, came down. Okay, this one I think of government intervention here. Government intervened there. Okay, but the trend is upwards, lor. Okay, and we believe it's going to reach somewhere here. Okay, and I think Ackman say I think Ackman say five and a half, but I think he will cut, he will take profit somewhere here. Yeah, I think that's all lah. Uh, uh, that's all I think for the thirty years I've talked about. Okay. So there's another thing ah uh, that uh, I think uh, Adam Ku say oh it's good lah that, that the 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 yield curve ah uh, is good lah the uninvert ah uh, is good lah. Uh, actually, when the yield curve is inverted, the recession is not there yet. It's only when the yield curve uninvert from the inversion state that the recession is there. Okay. You, you, it's like that lah. You all check lah. Okay. Uh, you all don't believe. You all check. Okay. So why so bad about the long term thirty year treasury going to six and a half? The higher it is, the more dangerous it is. The higher the discount rate, the higher the bond rates for the corporate bonds. Okay. So corporate bonds, ah, they are now yielding about seven and a half for. I think I saw VMware seven and a half or KO or Coke about seven and a half. Ah. So after this, they probably gonna need about maybe nine if they go up to five and a half or six, maybe nine or ten. Okay. The uh, junk bonds will probably sell for thirteen percent, fourteen percent, or fifteen percent even, okay. And fifteen uh, percent is not bad, lah. Oh, I remember got one period where a lot of people buy the junk bonds and make money. Then what else? Well, if the thing is expensive, ah, the thirty-year mortgage will also go up. Real estate will be in trouble, lah. I think, yeah, I guess that's all, lah, for today. Yeah, I guess that's all, lah. Uh. You know, sometimes, ah, uh, when I make these videos, ah, uh, then my wife scream here, scream there. Wow, headache, ah. Uh. Cannot, cannot focus, ah, uh, sometimes. But either way, you get the idea, lah. Uh. 
discount rate for stocks will go up maybe to 15% or uh, 16%. I think the one that will suffer is the tech stocks and the growth stocks, like, especially those that are not earning money. Uh, scenario 2. Uh, I'm going to pause the video. A headache suddenly. Yeah, okay. Uh, scenario 2. Uh, basically, this one is uh, the Fed by uh, the. It's actually a QE, la, right? So, what happened during QE? Uh, you actually lower the yield for the treasuries, la, right? And you stimulate the economy, okay? Now, you also, yeah, print money, la, okay? Actually, the Fed also holds some of the treasuries already, right? If you all don't know, uh, this is actually what's happening. And I think, I believe, if the interest rate is quite high, the banks will be more inclined to buy them and hold. Uh. If the bank don't have, the, the thing is lousy, then uh, if the interest rate too low, then the bank buy, then the in, uh, the three, the yield goes up, then the bank lose money. But I think if the interest rate is high, the the bank buys, the bank won't lose a lot of money, lah. Okay. So I think this is the most likely scenario. Okay. They're gonna print money and then bring the uh, long term treasuries down. Because they cannot let, uh, you know, a lot of things, bad things that happen, happen uh, when they do that, right? The banks will go bankrupt, insolvent, bank runs, stuff like that uh, happening. Okay, but this is uh, basically what you call a QE. Then what happened during QE? Well, inflation will go up. You can hide it, lah. but eventually the government will still have to QT because inflation will be crazy. Right. Okay. Uh, and don't forget, uh, uh, not not because they, they cannot let treasury leave the charge, because of inflation, uh, because of high inflation, high inflation. Okay. They can hide the inflation by faking the CPI, but eventually they cannot do it. So they have to raise rates. Okay. Now this is the third scenario. This is the most unlikely scenario. Basically, it's austerity, lah. Uh, austerity means you spend much less, right? You issue less uh, duration teas, treasuries. Uh, austerity, lah. Basically, this is the Ray Dalio uh, late debt cycle uh, nation. This is the leveraging of late debt uh, cycle nation, lah. And it's going to lead to, uh, you know, they, 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 the way he phrases it, some kind of, it looks sounds kind of, kind of scary, scary. And this is the most uh, unlikely scenario. Because, well, politics won't get it through. Nobody will want this. It's political suicide. Lah. Okay, so most likely scenario is scenario 2 and scenario 1. You mix in a little bit here and there, right? <laughs> So the government will try to uh, let the 30-year T yield go up as high as possible without uh, destroying the banks. Okay, I think corporate bonds and shares also they also don't want to destroy it too much, lah. Okay, so they're gonna arrange la, Somehow there's a number there that is not too bad. That is not too good either, la. Okay. But truth of the matter is that stocks will not win in the long term if this thing is like that. If the, the yield keeps going up, keeps going up, keeps going up, six and a half, seven, 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 eight, 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 nine, ten, right? Okay. If it keeps going up, well, you know, uh, it won't, how do I say, uh, It's hard, the, the way to phrase this is hard. Lah. 
Uh, I don't think it will end with just five and a half percent. Eh. Okay, just FYI. Uh. I don't think it will end with five and a half percent. Uh. Why? Uh, looking at the numbers, la, oh, inflation is quite high. La. Right. I'm willing to bet with you all. Uh, inflation. Uh, for the next two or three months, it's going to be higher than the latest inflation number. The 4% inflation. Uh, it's going to be higher than that. Okay. And it's going to trend upwards. Uh. Let's see uh, later. Let's see who's correct. Uh. Okay. So, if this scenario comes through, then uh, you're going to look at a massive uh, repricing. Uh, right. Uh, bonds... Right, not really massive lah. It's just one percent, one point three percent difference lah. If just five point five, I'm afraid that it's gonna go to six and a half. You know, right? If it goes to six and a half, okay. So five and a half, I think, yeah, not so bad, not so good, but not ideal either lah. Right? Don't say it's ideal lah. Okay. If it does go to six and a half. Then the long term uh, bonds uh, for those big companies, uh, well, they gotta be at least ten percent, uh, I think. Okay. Then those lower tier companies, uh, thirteen to fourteen percent. Junk bonds will be seventeen percent. I think a lot of companies uh, that has that relies on them uh, will face a lot of trouble. Uh. Rates also will face a lot of trouble. Uh. They have to raise the the rent. Okay, mm, I would say this is not an ideal scenario, lah. I, 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 I don't think this is an ideal scenario. What else, uh? Yeah, you generally, if this scenario holds, uh, you actually want to. You want to hold cash. And not buy any shares at all, because I think even the technology shares, uh, the the high mode ones, uh, they're gonna suffer a bit, uh, because the discount factor will, uh, uh, the discount factor will go up. Okay, and I think there'll be competition, uh, right? Then people will, uh, because the yield is so high, then economic activity will be lowered, lah. Uh. This is basically a contractive. Uh, letting the yield spike is a contractive uh, uh, policy. And this will lead to a slowdown, low, right? Slowdown in growth, slowdown in everything, uh, right? So, scenario one is basically uh, bad, uh, I would say. Bad, but this is what actually should happen, right? A, se a recession, right? Okay, this is what happened. This will cause a recession, and the recession will balance out the whole thing later. Okay, scenario two is actually well, delay the recession. Okay, but you still you're gonna get it worse later because the inflation number is gonna be higher. You gotta raise the 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 yield. Okay, you gotta make the yield be higher, right? Okay. Yield will be higher. Uh, everything will be higher. Everything will be higher. Stock market will, okay. But this short term, uh, After that, inflation will go up, okay. Inflation will go up. This is scenario two. This is scenario two. This is what is uh, have been happening la, for a while, okay. Uh, this is basically QE la, okay. QE, okay. QE, sometimes they hide it, sometimes they do this, sometimes they fake the numbers, they do a lot of things. Okay, so scenario 2 is QE. Scenario 1 is not QT, la, just let things uh, happen. La. Not, not, it's not really QT. Scenario 3 is the best solution. No? Right? Uh, austerity, right? Uh, spend less money so you don't have to issue so much debt. When you don't issue debt, the debt supply is limited, right? So, what happened to the yield? Well, the yield will remain as low as possible, uh, okay? 
it will still go up but it won't go up as much lah okay so which is the most likely scenario to happen knowing uh, usa is supposed to be q this one okay how can you QE and QT at the same time? Can who say cannot? Later you all see lah, right? This is probably the most likely scenario. QE all the way QE 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 QE. Why must QE? Because if the rates too high, okay, if the rates are too high, uh, the banks are gonna face a lot of trouble. There's gonna be huge failures here and there, okay. So they have to rescue certain aspects of the economy. And that's why I think uh, QE scenario will be more likely, this one. Okay. So this one is not likely la, to six and a half. La. Not likely. They won't let it happen. La. But if it does happen, they will do this later. Okay. So if it does happen, that means they want a, land they want a landing. Right. They want a somewhat uh, medium side, medium landing. They don't want low landing, but they want medium, medium to hard landing. Okay, they feel that it's necessary to do the medium to hard landing. It's necessary to go into a recession. Honestly speaking, yes, it is necessary. It has been happening uh, throughout the years. Uh, the boom and bust. I don't think you can prevent it. Uh. That's what I can say. So you all get all the scenarios already. Uh, this is, I think, the most likely scenario. This is the most unlikely scenario. Uh, this is unlikely also, la, I think. I don't think they will let the long term this one because the banks are going to suffer a lot. Okay. 